now we are discussing logarithmic test statement is summation un is a series of positive terms and uh, if limit n tends to infinite n into log of un by un plus 1 is equal to l limit n tends to infinite n into log of un by un plus 1 is equal to l then based on l we can decide which is, which is a convergent or divergent the given series is convergent or divergent we will discuss if l greater than 1 summation un is convergent if l less than 1 summation un is divergent if l is equal to 1 test fails this is uh, when we uh, this series when we will apply logarithmic test when we will apply if ratio test fails ratio test fails generally we will apply rabbit's test also but when we will apply logarithmic test means in the ratio test uh, limit n tends to infinite uh, un by un plus 1 limit n tends to infinite un by un plus 1 which contain term e like it may be you will get like e by x x by e or else x e in this form then we will apply logarithmic test otherwise if does not contain e generally we are going for rabbit's test okay this is about the logarithmic test in the logarithmic test we need to find limit n tends to infinite n into log of un by un plus 1 is equal to l if l greater than 1 series is convergent l less than 1 series is divergent l is equal to 1 test fails discuss the convergence of the series x plus x square 2 square by 2 factorial plus x cube 3 cube by 3 factorial plus x power 4 4 to the power of 4 by 4 factorial and so on okay here they are given sum of terms are they given nth term in the series directly no this is they are given 1 2 3 4 4 terms they are given now we need to write the nth term so here un is equal to x to the power of what you have you see 4 3 2 1 it's nothing but 1 2 3 4 if you have 1 2 3 4 x to the power of what i have to write common difference is what 1 so you have to write 1 into n is n if you put n is equal to 1 first term is 1 n is equal to second term is 2 okay satisfying n is equal to 3 satisfying n is equal to 4 satisfying so numerator you will have x to the power of n and 4 to the power of 4 4 3 2 1 again 4 3 2 1 means here you need to write n power is what 4 3 2 1 power is also what n divided by 4 factorial 3 factorial 2 factorial this is you don't have anything here so you can consider as a 1 factor this is 1 to the power of 1 by 1 factorial also you can write so 1 2 3 4 again so it, you can write as n factor that is the reason here you have n term is un is equal to x to the power of n, n to the power of n by n factor. Since in the given series, you see this is x is greater than 0 only. Okay? x is greater than 0. x is greater than 0 and the natural number also greater than 0. So numerator greater than 0, denominator greater than 0. Hence the entire series is that uh, un is a greater than 0. Then series becomes a series of positive terms. Now, this is containing what? Factorial. If we have a factorial, which method we have to go for? Ratio test. In the ratio test, what we need to find? Un by Un plus 1 we need to find. Now, Un by Un plus 1 is equal to. In place of n, you need to write uh, n plus 1, then you will get uh, x to the power of uh, Un plus 1 value. In place of n, if we written n plus 1, we will get uh, Un plus 1. This is not a repeated series form. Okay, Just we have to replace n by n plus 1 only now x to the power of n plus 1 this is n plus 1 to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1 factorial now i want un by un plus 1 for this un by un plus 1 is equal to x to the power of un this is this is you see un plus 1 you have a numerator by denominator na? we need to write so this denominator i written in the reciprocal as a reciprocal because it will becomes n plus 1 factorial by x to the power of n plus 1, n plus 1 to the power of n plus 1, to simplify, okay, for that purpose only we written this is in reciprocal, numerator, now, you want to cancel this one, you have in un, x to the power of n, here you have x power n plus 1, 
So this x4 n plus 1 you can write as x to the power of n into x. This is you have in the numerator n to the power of n. In the denominator n plus 1 to the power of n plus 1. So I want n power n. So take n common. If you take an n common you will have n to the power of n plus 1 outside. 1 plus 1 by n whole to the power of n plus 1. Next this is n plus 1 factorial. So n plus 1 factorial is here you have n factorial. Na? So n plus 1 into n factorial. Now this is n, n factorial, n factorial getting cancelled. n factorial, n factorial getting cancelled. n to the power, x to the power of n, no, x to the power of n cancel. n to the power of n, no, this power cancel, you will have n extra. So, n plus 1 by, here you see what are the terms? n, 1 plus 1 by n, what is the power of n plus 1? Denominator x. Numerator, you don't have other terms. So, 1 by x. Now, again, you need to simplify this. This is n you have, no? Take n outside. Then you will have 1 plus 1 by n. So this n, n cancel. 1 plus 1 by n and this one cancel. Then you will have only 1 plus 1 by n whole to the power of n into x. So un is equal to un by un plus 1 is equal to numerator 1, denominator 1 plus 1 by n whole to the power of n into 1 by x. Now we have to apply limit n tends to infinite on both sides. Now apply the limit n tends to infinite on both sides. So you know the term limit n tends to infinite 1 plus x by n whole to the power of n limit is what? e to the power of x. So this is also same form limit n tends to infinite 1 plus x by n whole to the power of n. What is x here you have? 1. So e to the power of 1 into x. So 1 by e x. Now you see this is containing what? e. Limit is containing e. Okay, you have to remember, earlier we discussed uh, when the limit is containing E and uh, ratio test fails, if ratio test fails, then you have to go for logarithmic test. Okay, anyway we will check it here. So here X value, we discussed only positive. X we, they are given X greater than 0. So X may be 1, X may be E, X may be 1 by E. So whatever it may be the X value, that is the positive. So we cannot decide directly. What we can conclude means if this 1 by EX is greater than 1, series is convergent. 1 by EX less than 1, series is divergent. If 1 by EX is equal to 1, what will happen? We don't know. So we are putting 1 by EX is equal to 1. That implies X is equal to 1 by E. So X also 1 by E. Na? Sometimes if it is X is equal to 1 by E, what will happen? We will see. Where we have to substitute this X is equal to 1 by E means given series we need to substitute. So the series will become n to the power of n, here you have x to the power of n, x is 1 by e power n. So e power n is in denominator, n factorial. Now again it is containing what? Factorial. So if you have a factorial you have to go for un plus, un by un plus 1. Instead of putting, a, instead of a finding un plus 1 and a simplifying a un by un plus 1, directly we are writing a, x is equal to 1 by e in un by un plus 1. So you will have like previously you have un by un plus 1 is, is equal to 1 by 1 plus 1 by n whole to the power of n into 1 by x we have. So here in place of x you put 1 by e it will become e by 1 plus 1 by n whole to the power of n. Why we have to substitute means since it is containing factorial even though if you are done un by un plus 1 you will get this term only. Okay. Now here uh, e is containing the limit e containing the limit. Limit is containing what? E. So go for logarithmic test. Okay. If you have a doubt, if you apply limit n tends to infinite, apply limit n tends to infinite on both sides, what will happen? You see? Tell me. This is E by this is E. So 1. Test fails. Limit n tends to infinite un by un plus 1 is equal to 1. Which test fails now? Ratio test fails. Ratio test fails and uh, limit is containing 1 by e x. Nothing but containing e term. So, go for logarithmic test. In the log test. Log test what we have, what we required means limit n tends to infinite limit n tends to infinite n into log of un by un plus 1 is equal to l. We need to find. This limit we have to use. Based on the limit we can say convergent, divergent or test fields. So, first I am doing log of un by un plus 1. I know un by un plus 1. So find out log of un by un plus 1. After that multiply with n and lim apply limit n tends to infinite. You will get limit. Okay. 
Now, log apply both side. Log of this is log a by b form. So log a minus log b. If log a by b is we have, then we can write log a minus log b. Okay. And you see this is log a power n. So you can write as n log a. Okay. Log a power n. So we can write as n log a type. That implies log of u n by u n plus 1 is equal to log e minus n log of 1 plus 1 by n. Log e value is 1. Log e base e is 1. So what about the log of 1 plus x expansion? This is in the form of 1 plus x. Log of 1 plus x we know that x minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 minus x to the power of 4 by 4 and so on. Here in place of x what we have? 1 by n. Now you substitute in this formula. Then log of u n by u n plus 1 is equal to log e value what we consider? 1. So 1 minus n into this is n place of x 1 by n we need to write now 1 by n plus 1 by 2 times of 1 by n square plus 1 by 3 times of 1 by n cube minus 1 by 4 times of 1 by n to the power of 4. Now we have to simplify this. Multiply n inside. So n n cancel. You will have 1. n n square cancel. 1 minus 1 by 2 n. n n cube cancel plus 1 by 3 n square. This is. Now you multiply minus also inside. 1 minus 1 cancel. Minus half minus plus 1 by 2 n. Minus into plus minus 1 by 3 n square. Minus into minus plus 1 by 4 n cube so on. Now you have log of u n by u n plus 1. Now you multiply n. And after that you have to apply limit. Multiply with n means you see you will have this n and getting cancelled. Then 1 by 2 n n square cancel minus 1 by 3 n n n cube cancel you will have 1 by 4 n square plus so on. Now taking a limit n tends to infinite on both sides limit n tends to infinite uh, n into log of u n by u n plus 1 will becomes limit n tends to infinite this one. Now as n tends to infinite 1 by n goes to 0 so this series is becomes you see 1 by n goes to 0 now. So this term is 0, this term is 0 and the rest remaining all the terms are 0 except the first term. So what will become the limit is 1 by 2. So limit value is 1 by 2. When L is less than, so 1 by 2 is less than 1 or not? Yes. If limit L less than 1 in the logarithmic test, what we can say? Series is divergent. If L greater than 1, convergent. Therefore, we can say summation un is divergent. By which method? Logarithmetic test. By logarithmetic test. If L greater than 1, convergent. If L is equal to 1, test fails. This is the logarithmetic test. After watching this video, please give your valuable feedback in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.